Did you know that when Einstein gave lectures at the numerous US university he was invited to, the recurring question that students asked him was, do you believe in God? And he always answered, I believe in the God of Spinoza. The ones who hadn't read Spinoza didn't understand. I hope this gem of history serves you as much as it does me. Baruch de Spinoza was the Dutch philosopher considered one of the three great rationalists of 17th century philosophy. Along with René Descartes in France and Gottfried Leibniz in Germany, here is some of his wisdom. God would have said, stop praying and punching yourself in the chest. What I want you to do is go out in the world and enjoy your life. I want you to enjoy, sing, have fun and enjoy everything I have made for. Stop going to those dark, cold temples that you built yourself and say they are my house. My house is in the mountains, in the woods, rivers, lakes, beaches. That's where I live and there I express my love for you. Stop blaming me for your miserable life. I never told you there was anything wrong with you or that you were a sinner. Stop reading alleged sacred scriptures that have nothing to do with me. If you can't read me in sunrise, in a landscape, in a look of your friends, in your son's eyes, you will find me in no books. Trust me and stop asking me, would you tell me how to do my job? Stop being so scared of me. I do not judge you or criticize you nor get angry or seek to punish you. I am pure love. Stop asking for forgiveness. There is nothing to forgive. If I have made you, I fill you with passions, limitations, pleasures, feelings, needs, inconsistencies, free will. How can I blame you if you respond to something I put in you? How can I punish you for being the way you are? If I am the one who made you, do you think I could create a place to burn all my children who behave badly for the rest of eternity? What kind of a God would do that? Forget any kind of commandments, any kind of laws. Those are wise to manipulate you, to control you, that only create guilt in you. Respect your peers and don't do what you don't want for yourself. All I ask is that you pay attention in your life, that your consciousness is your guide. My beloved, this life is not a test, not a step, not a rehearsal, nor a prelude to paradise. This life is the only thing that exists here and now and it is all you need. I have set you absolutely free, no prizes nor punishments, no sins or virtues, no one carries a marker, no one keeps a record. You are absolutely free to create in your life heaven or hell. I could tell you if there's anything after this life, but I won't. But I can give you a tip. Live as if there is nothing after. As if this is your only chance to enjoy, to love, to exist. So if there's nothing, then you will have enjoyed the opportunity I gave you. And if there is, rest assured that I won't ask if you behave right or wrong. I'll ask, did you like it? Did you have fun? What did you enjoy the most? What did you learn? Stop believing in me. I want you to feel me in you. When you kiss your beloved, when you tuck in your little girl, when you care your dog, when you caress your pet, when you bathe in the sea. Stop praising me. What kind of an egomaniac God do you think I am? I am bored being praised. I am tired of being thanked, feeling grateful. Prove it by taking care of yourself, your health, your relationships, the world. Express your joy. That's the way to praise me.
Stop complicating things and repeating as a parakeet what you have been taught about me. The only thing for sure is that you are here, that you are alive and that this world is full of wonders. What do you need more miracles for? Why so many explanations? Look for me outside. You won't find me. Find me inside. There I am beating with you. Spinoza